Hello everyone. Now we are in the lesson six that is solving proportions. The learning objective of this lesson is to solve solve proportions basically. And the keyword is proportions. What is this proportions? Yeah, we've proportion plenty of times. Now, before we go to proportions, I hope you remember ratio. Now, if I'm telling a ratio, say two divided by three, two parts of three parts, proportion, two proportion, three. Now, a proportion means two ratios, basically. I have two by three and say four by six. But these are two ratios which needs to be equal to each other. This is it. If two ratios are equal, you have an equal sign in bet between them. That is a proportion. Now we will solve proportions. Now we will see such problems. So uh, that's what it says. If two ratios are equivalent, then they are proportions such as over here. Solve this proportion. You don't know what is X and all the other values are known. We need to solve it. So what do you do? There are various ways to solve it, but the easiest would be just take whatever is with, with x, keep x alone and take everything else to the other side. So take this 45 to the other side, it becomes from division multiplication or multiply 45 on both the sides. It becomes x equals 15 divided by 25 instead of writing 45 multiplied both sides. You know this is division when it moves to the other side of equal to it becomes multiplication division becomes multiplication and now you need to simplify this five table goes in this five times and over here nine times and now five table one time five table three times and you know three nines are 27 so the answer will be 27 here so ultimate answer is 27 now if you get this much you can directly put it in the calculator as well uh, here we have so 15 okay now the answer would be the same thing that is we have already solved but you can directly solve this in calculator as well that is by using the ratio symbol alpha x divided by 45 equals that is alpha equal to 15 divided by 25 if you press equal to you will not get the correct answer you need to press shift and solve that is calc over here and this is also not the correct answer then after pressing shift and solve you need to press equal to you will get 4x because that means you're solving for x x value is 27 that's how we solve it now here's another problem please do pause the video and try it by yourself uh, I just forgot the answer is visible sorry for that but anyways try it by yourselves let's do the steps here now n minus 4 divided by 8 see you can see n and minus 4 is together so leave them first take the away number that is 8 divided by 8 goes to the other side becomes n minus 4 equals 3 by 2 times 8 now here 2 1 time 2 4 times 4 3 is a 12 so you will get 12 over here n minus 4 take minus 4 to the other side it becomes 12 plus Four. so answer is n equals 16 this will be your final answer same thing over here answer is a and now then we have another proportion it's just similar but only difference is you have unknown variable on both the sides but the steps are the same we will see the steps over here first thing is you, you should take uh, you, see now you can do this one by one step by step or you can do it different ways first step over here is taking 9 taking off 9 in the sense multiply both the sides by 9 I will show you a shorter way you know 9 over here goes to the other side so it will be x equals let's write only the numerators 2x minus 3 now what you do is this division 9 goes to the other side it becomes multiplied by 9 since there are two terms, I'm putting the brackets. You have to use distributive property. That means 9 is multiplied here and over here. What about this 24? 24 goes to the other side. It becomes 24x. Now, you can simplify 24x equals 9 times 2 is 18x minus 9 times 3 is 27. 
Now move this 20, okay, leave this 27 over here, move this 18x to the other side because you need to solve for 18 as uh, x and you can see bigger x is 24. So it'll be 24x minus 18x equals negative 27 and the answer over here is uh, 6x positive 6x equals negative 27. Take 6 to the other side, you will get x equals negative 27 divided by 6. This is equivalent to 3 table goes in both minus 9 by 3, 3 times, 2 times and 3, 9 times over here. It's 9 by 2 or 4.5 negative. This is the answer. Let's see the answer. You can put it in calculator from here directly, negative 27 by 6, if you're finding this hard. But it's very simple. Um, it's negative 9 by 2, and that is negative 4.5. This is, I've just avoided, you know, taking one at a time. I've done 24 to the other side becomes 24x, and here 9 times 2x minus 3. Just remember, whenever there is bracket, there are two terms. You multiply it inside to both the terms. It will be 90 9, 9 times 2x, that is 18x. 9 times negative 3 becomes negative 27. Let's see the other method. It's 1 by 1. What is done here? First, we are removing this 9 by multiplying both the sides by 9. You are remaining with x equals 9 times 2x minus 3. You can simplify, uh, over here it's multiplied here, 9. And then they are taking 24 to the other side. It will be 24x, 24 here cancels. You're remaining with 18x minus 27. And subtract 18x both the sides, ultimately divide by 6 and you'll get the answer. Here remember, 9 is multiplied inside to both the terms, that is distributive property. So that's how we solve it. Straightforward problem. You can directly use calculator and check it as well. You will get the same answer. Here we have another problem. Please do solve it by yourself. Try solving it. Pause the video and try it. Now I will try it over here quickly. 18 times x, 18 goes to the other side, equals 12 times 2x minus 5. 12 is multiplied inside. It'll be 12 times 2 is 24x minus 12 times 5 is 60. Here is 18x. Now look here. You need x's together. Since this is bigger, leave it over here. Take this 18x to the other side. It becomes 24x minus 18x. And take the 60 to the other side. It becomes plus 60. Okay, this plus 60 because minus 60 moves to the other side of equal to 18 positive, which comes to the other side, becomes minus. Now the answer over here is 6x and 60, you know, divide both the sides by 6, you will get 10 equals x. So x value is equal to 10. So you have the options, it's option D, positive 10. So here we have a real world problem. These are again uh, interesting and easy problems, geography. Parts of Mexico City are sinking at the rate of 140 centimeter every five years. If it remains constant, how many centimeters will the city sink in the next 12 years? Now, there is cross multiplication method, direct method, proportion method, many methods to solve this. Okay, the best way, okay, whichever is easy for you, but now I personally feel this would be easier. Read the question and get a relationship between two. Parts of Mexico City are sinking at a rate of 140 centimeter every five years sinking at a rate okay sinking i'll write s time t okay s and t how many uh, centimeters it's sinking 140 and 5 over here okay what is the other thing they need to, the rate is constant if it's 145 centimeter then after 10 years it will be twice this to uh, multiply by two both the sides it'll be 280 in 10 years and so on the relationship the the rate is constant it's same okay next one is how many the cities how many centimeters will the city sink in the next 12 years in 12 years how many which we don't know x 
So what you can do is you can solve this by proportion because there are two similar quantities that is sinking sinking centimeters and time time. Just divide them by each other and equate them. This is your equation. I'll, I'll take this off. You can pause it and check it out. And uh, now I'll remove it. See, 140 centimeter equals 5. But this is not correct. It's not equal. 140 is not at all equal to 5. But if you are writing some proportion, then yes, divide both the sides by the other relationship. What is it? How many centimeter unknown centimeter divided by 12 years. Now, if you solve for x, you will get the x value. So how do you solve? Take uh, You need x alone, all the other things to the other side. So take x to the other side will be 140 equals x. Okay, take 5 to the other side will be divided by 5 here. And this 12 to the other side will be multiplied to this. So all you're doing is 12 to the other side, 12 becomes from division to multiplication, 5 from upside, multiplication to division, and lastly x from division to multiplication, it'll be up. So you must have x in the numerator like this. Now what? Simplify this. Uh, 5 one time, here 5, 10, 20, 30 minus 2 is 28 times, and you should just solve this. Okay, it'll be a huge number. You can just use a calculator. Okay, so it'll be 28 times 12, that will be the answer. It's more than 280, it's 336. So that is your answer. Let's check over here. They have done the similar method, is it? They have done lots of explanation. You can pause it and go through this explanation. It's the same thing what I told, but in a different way. Now here it is. We have, okay, they have written in different contexts, they have written 140 divided by 5, but doesn't matter. Answer finally will be the same. The answer was 336 for us and over there. Now they have written, you know, the first 140 divided by this equals another thing divided by. But at times what I have written over here, one cent 140 centimeter equals 5 divide both because this is not equal, but the ratios are equal. So what do I do? 140 centimeter equals 5 divided by how much is the another centimeters? It's unknown x, but they have told the other time that is 12. Solve this, you will get the answer. So the answer was same 336. We will try this one now. Please try pausing the video and doing yourself, and then we will go together. I hope you tried it by yourselves. Here, Oscar makes fruit punch to sell from his food truck by mixing eight parts cranberry juice. Over here, it's cranberry juice and pineapple juice, C and P. Eight parts cranberry juice to three parts of pineapple juice. Is mixing two juices together. How many cups of pineapple juice would Oscar need to mix with? 48 cups of cranberry. Under the time cranberry is given, but how many we don't know x. Is this okay? Or you can even write x first up. It's also fine. It's the same thing, but you need to write x and 48 up, 8 and 3 down. It's the same thing. Now here, 8 parts of cranberry are equal to 3 parts of uh, pineapple. The proportion must be divided by how much cranberry uh, is asked. 48. How many pineapple is required for 48 cranberry? Now take this x to the other side. It will become over here. Equals 3 multiplied by 48 divided by 8. Why is this? Because 48 goes to the other side becomes multiplication. 8 to the other side becomes division. Now we know 8 1 time. 8 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. So there must be 18 parts of pineapple. So that is 18 cups of pineapple. Part and cups are here same. So this is the answer 18. Now then we have a percentage problem. Now this is another interesting type of problem. There are two methods to solve them. Let's go through both the methods now. A guide company makes a trial mix, trial mix of raisins and mixed nuts. It's like a cereal, you know, you might have definitely eaten this in the morning with milk or something. So we are asking you, trial mix are made of raisins and mixed nuts, but how many pounds of raisins 
does the guide company need to mix with 14 pounds of mixed nuts to make this trial mix of 30% raisins? So now they have told 30% is raisins. That is like dried grapes, grapes, you know. I'll write R. If 30% is raisins, how many percentage will be um, mixed nuts? Total will be 100%. Now imagine 30% is raisins. Mixed nuts has to be 70% because it's 100 minus 7, 30, right? 30 plus 70 makes 100%. A full total percentage, a total entire thing will be 100%. 30% is raisins, 70% is nuts. It's like, you know, uh, imagine you're making a juice from concentrate, a glass of juice. Out of the 100% juice, only 10% was concentrate juice. You get that Vimto juice and everything. You just put the concentrate and then you fill it with water remaining. 90% was water, 10% was juice and that can be drinkable. So that is the same thing over here, 30 and 70 this is what mixed nuts now we know 14 pounds of mixed nuts were used 14 pounds were used how many reasons are required x make the ratios and solve 30 divided by uh, 70 x divided by 14 this is one way okay this is one way i think so this is uh, no, this is not used in the first method. This is one method. I'll come to this in a while. The second method, method two, is what I've written over here. Okay. 30% by 70%. X divide R is written. Reasons divided by 14. That's it. So here, these are the proportions. X by 14 equals 30%. Don't write 30. It's wrong. It's 30% divided by 70%. Okay. Now, okay, sorry, you can you can write 30 as well because what happens? Person person cancels. Okay, you can write 30, but really 30 percent means it's 0 0.3. Okay, but since here it's divided by, you can just write 30 because both cancels off, even if it's 0 0.3 or 0 0.7, or it's 30 and 70. Answer will be same. So that's why they have removed percentage. You can use it if you want. Now, if you solve this, what happens? 14 goes to the other side. That's it. 30 divided by 70 multiplied by 14. The answer is 6. The answer x is equal to 6. You can see this is the answer. Why? Because 30% raisins are there. We don't know how much quantity is used, but we know 70% will be mixed nuts. They have mentioned mixed nuts 70% was 14 pounds. So how much is it? X divided by 14 equals 30 divided by 70. That's the answer. Now there is one more method, the method one. What they are telling is here, if you understand one method is more than enough, generally in the exam, they'll ask you just to solve. And if you get one answer, it's enough. But here I'm telling you this method because the next check problem is uh, many answers. They have asked both the types of method. That's why here, you know 30% is raisins, isn't it 30? That is equal to R. What is the total mixed trail mix, total mixed trail? It is 100%, isn't it? Because it has 30 uh, raisins, 70 mixed nuts. It's total 30. Now here we know the 70% pounds of, uh, you know, the mixed nuts are 14 plus raisins are so this will be 100. So what is the total 100% trail mix? It will be 14% of mixed nuts plus the raisins. So this is 14R. You basically have to solve this person person cancel. So this is the relationship that is uh, is another relationship. It's just that you have to take this to the other side. It'll be It will be a longer solving. 30 into 14 plus R equals 100R. 30 is multiplied inside and then take it to the other sides and solve. You'll get the answer. I'll just solve it directly in calculator. It'll be 30 by 100 equals x unknown variable. Don't use any other variable. You won't get the answer in calculator plus r. 
shift and solve you'll get the answer six that's it that is the answer see whichever method you do it's just that it's longer but the answer will be the same if you write the equation that is more than enough see answer is same but that if you use this method over here with 30 by 100 then you should use r by r plus 14 the steps are a bit longer that is how we solve it i hope it is clear the second method is easier if you just get this in exam try to use the second method first uh, it's much easier so this is how we solve it now we have a problem to check your understanding please read this by yourself when you read it you will practice more then try to solve it by yourself okay pause the video now I hope you tried pausing it and solving by yourself, reading it and understanding at least a little bit. Let us read it now and solve. Aitha is making a plant food mixture to use in a garden. The mixture is to be 20% plant food and 80% water. She needs to make 12 gallons of the mixture to cover the entire garden. Which proportion can be used to find the amount of plant food? food she will need select all that apply there are four options five options you need to solve now here it is important to know plant food mixture is 20 percent plant food and 80 percent water okay what have they given you she needs to make they have given you 100 percent what she needs so uh, she needs this 12 gallon right of mixture that is the hundred percent of the mixture food mixture plant food mixture and they want you to see how much plant food how much 20 percent is there so now here you need to understand this 12 gallons is hundred percent they want only 20 percent this is x this is one equation okay it uh, generally they'll write the smaller value up it'll be 20 divided by x even if you write in the bottom the answer will be same it doesn't make a difference okay so this is one answer let's see over here okay it just came out now this one b option b you can see 20 by 100 equals x or p over here is used because it's plant food divided by 12 but this is not it there is one more answer another way to write what is it you can see there are plenty of 80 by 100 that means they are telling it terms of water now what is water 80 percent is water total is 100 we know 100 is 12 plant food that is 12 gallons what is 80 80 would mean the total minus the plant food isn't it total is 12 minus x minus the plant food will give you what the water so water is 80 percent but we know plant food is what we need to we need to solve let's consider it to be x so 80 by 100 equals total 12 minus x divided by 12 this is one another way see this is the answer 12 minus p divided by 12 equals 80 by 100 these are few of the methods to solve this problem there are other methods as well so main thing is getting the proportion getting this equation then if you put in the calculator you can solve they they just want the equations in this that is very very important so now if you simplify this take 12 to the other side will be 12 multiplied one time five time it'll be 12 it'll be about 2.4 so the answer is 2.4 but that is plant food is just 2.4 and remaining is water but that's not the answer uh, that's not what's required here the equations are most important these two equations the proportions sorry writing the proportions i hope this is clear that's the end of this lesson just a recall proportions are two ratios which are equivalent in the sense you have x by 2 equals 5 by 10 this is what is a proportion you should have equal to between two ratios thank you for watching this video i hope it is it has been useful uh, i will try to do the remaining lessons as soon as possible please do subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed do like my videos it would mean a lot to me subscribing is free but it would mean so much to me if you have subscribed thank you guys and see you in the next video Bye bye